right, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. And with that, we are ready to go for this co-main event. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there's Herb Dean. He will fight. handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type. And fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Akhmedov gets caught by that straight punch there. Lands with the left. Very fast jab lands for him. Lips. All right hook attempt, no good. Oh! Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. So more output at least in the early going. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, he misses with it there. Big shot to the head. Sidekick now. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just head hunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Back and forth we go! Right on the button. So 
he's able to land another punch there. Nice work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Hands high, hands high. Just out of range with that right hand. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Scoop and shoot. Work. These boys are going at it. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, man, these are hard. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Looks like Pac-Man, he's taking so many strikes to the head. So he needs to mix it up, he needs to start kicking more. Nice display of technique by him there on the side. <laughs> 90 seconds to go. Oh, good lead right by Lee. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, man. Nice job by him defensively there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. This is crazy. Oh, big left. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Akhmedov. What a beautiful jab landing there. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Ten seconds now to go in the round. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, big left hand. Oh, big knee to the body. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Akhmedov. Misses again with a right punch. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Oh! That's a pretty good jab. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body. Huge oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Looking to land the leg kick now. 
Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Right hand is there over the top. Oh, he's hurt. He's wobbling. Oh, and another big right hand. Wow. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. He missed with that jab attempt. Oh! Bruce starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses with the left hook. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Just misses with the jab there. Whipped on the uppercut there. Oh, and he connects there. They are going at it with each other. These two guys want to end the fight very fast. Out of range with that one. Sidekick, well placed. in the books. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. 
Akhmedov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful kick lands there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Nice head kick. Straight right hand now just misses. So he's really starting to put together some significant bodies. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Some real power shots here. Don't stop, don't stop. Hook shot lands. Hook, but a whiff. You got this. Come on. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That punch, no good. Big shots being landed on both sides here. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. I gotta see a takedown. Checks the leg kick. Ninety seconds to go. Hands higher, hands higher. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they got to be thinking about getting involved here. Ground beef, man. <laughs> oh! Strike attempt there is blocked. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking it. Misses with the right hand. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Akhmedov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Whiffs on that offering. Big head kick land. Just misses with the straight right. Akhmedov gets crushed with that hook. Final seconds here. to the championship rounds. All right, buddy, take a seat. Beautiful work, beautiful work. That right straight left hook combination is working great. Now let's get back out there and really start to set up those combinations to All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good 
at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. It's better in between rounds. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. Back and forth we go here. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictating the pace to his opponent. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. His leg kick lands nicely done. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, body shot. Clean with that offer. Oh, nice hook there by Akhmedov. Just over three minutes to go. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Oh, left hand landed. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Akhmedov's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, he's staying busy here, connected with a barrage of punches. Oh, nice body kick. Good straight hand there by Lee. Ooh, big shot lands. Ooh! sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Under two minutes now to go. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. One, two there by Akhmedov. Nice straight punch there. Oh, sort of smell blood in the water and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one and it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. It may be one 
body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by the better fighter tonight. Ahmed Alzai appears to be closing up by the second. Oh. 20 minutes down, oh. potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Yeah. And final round. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Connected with a solid strike there. Straight to the body by Lee. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Go after that cut. Go after that cut. Strike. Low kick, low kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. And that one certainly found the target. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Just misses with a left hook there. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, and a high kick lands. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. You either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Straight right, he misses. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You ripped the body there. Missed with that attempt. Shot there, you see the damage starting to accumulate. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Take him down. 
Well-placed kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice hook. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. His work, come on. Oh, that's big. Nice block. Just out of range with the big right hand. What a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to